In part three of real options, we're going to value a production facility with multiple options. So consider the value of a project with embedded options. In this valuation of a production facility, we have an option to expand and an option to conduct production capacity. The figure again depicts the situation. On the horizontal axis, we have the underlying value or the present value of cash inflows, which is uncertain. And on a vertical axis over here, we have the value of the facility, including both options. First, consider the value of the production facility without any of the options. That's obviously a 45 degree line like this that gives the static value of the production facility. Now suppose that next year we have an option to expand the current production by 50%. In fact, it is similar to a fraction of 50% of a core option with a maturity of one year. I could draw it like this, where we expand production. Suppose at the same time, if things turn out worse than expected, so over here, we have an option to contract. And suppose we can also contract the total production by 50%. So actually we have a fraction of 50% of a put option. And if we would calculate the payoff at maturity, it would look similar like this. This is the put option, and this is the call option, or 50% of a put option and 50% of a call option. Now combining the put and the call option with the value of the production facilities, we get the following payoff at year one. We have contraction at low value, then an intermediate part, and then an expansion of 50% at the higher value. This is the value at maturity T is 1, including both options. Obviously, we're not only interested at the value over one year, but we're interested in the current value of this production facility, including its multiple embedded options. This is represented by the curve, and that should be estimated using option valuation formulas. So to summarize over here, we have the static project value over here, an option to expand of 50%, an option to contract at 50%. The length of deferral time is the time to maturity of both options. The time value of money is the risk-free rate, and we have the volatility in the returns of the project value. So let's do a valuation of a project with multiple options. First, the option to expand. The option to expand is similar to a standard call option. So the value of the call option is the maximum of the net present value of expansion. That's the fraction times the value minus the investment outlay of the expansion or don't exercise the option, zero. We also have the option to contract. So the option to contract is similar to a standard put option. The standard put option is the maximum of the net present value of contraction that's the recovery value minus the contraction of the value or do nothing, that's zero. So combining the expansion option and the contraction option, we actually have a portfolio of the two options. And the payoff of the portfolio of, the, of these two options is the maximum of zero, do nothing, this one and this one, expanding over here, or contracting over here. Let's fill in the numbers. And we fill in the same numbers as in the numerical examples of our previous web webcast. If the value increases over here, we have the maximum of nothing or expanding with 50%. So that's 0 0.5 times 180 minus the investment of expansion, that's 40. This is a total of 90 minus 40 is 50. Or contracting, that's 35 minus 0 0.5 times 180, and that's negative, so we don't do that. 
So if events turn out favorable, we expand by 50% and we exercise the expansion option. Now consider the case that the value declines. If the value declines, we have either do nothing or expanding 50% times 60 minus 40. That's negative, so we don't expand, but we can contract the recovery value is 35 and the decline in production is 0 0.5 times 60 so the contraction option is worth 5 at maturity so at maturity we can either realize an additional value of 5 by contracting or 50 by expanding the question is what is the current value of this portfolio of options the expanded present value of the production facility is the static value of 100 currently today plus the value of the portfolio of options. So it is 100 plus the risk neutral probability of 0 0.4 times the payoff of expansion which is 50 plus 60% times the payoff of contraction which is 5, divided by the risk free rate of 108, which results in a total value of 121.3 million, which is almost a 20% increase compared to the static valuation of the facility.